at least not over two maps. It was not Kittle for simple. Dude, those those nades from Boobich. Yeah, you can see a little grin there on Boobich's face. It's like, yeah, I know. I set that up. This is teamwork at its finest here for Simple. Just getting that constant setup. Times it perfectly there on the follow. Yeah. He's just been so clean on the pistols. It's like if you take out Simple, great, you know, just congratulations. Feel good about yourself because uh, it isn't easy. All group long, he has just been slamming people. Yeah, it's kind of horrifying, isn't it, when you when you just see it unfold. And again, I mean, in a in a different round, if he's playing that position, they can throw Molotovs, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. But with Glocks, not so much. Hard to root someone out from behind that box. Top mid and underpass, they're going to try to. They can you know join together and crouch, uh, crunch someone in there. Instead, all they get is a grenade, a twist, and a follow up. Dude, twist has got to be lucky though. No Kevlar, and he survives both of those nades. Yeah. Okay then. Counting the lucky stars, uh, the Odin Sun. He is uh, managing it. And so Navi, 1-0. Fairly uh, casual stuff here so far because they have the MP9s. They know this is a hard eco. And uh, they are just going to continue. They're going to harvest some money here in a moment, Navi. Or at least they should. This is going to be a little awkward for Electronic with three players ready to pounce on him. Uh, it could get real dicey. He needs the support of Simple. And unfortunately, it's both M4s that are about to just wreck these um, unarmored targets. So not the best money for Navi. At least Flamey manages to get one. For shame, Electronic. Yeah, yeah. but it, they didn't lose anyone either. So I think they'll probably take it. Um, yeah, you never know if, if you're alone. I agree if you're alone in, the, in that position and they all come you know, around the corner. That could be a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. one, kind of went one after another there then. Let's yeah. Him, let's them take advantage. And I, Peter, already have the AKs. That's some good grenades to follow it up with. So, let's see. I we were watching OG play this map, and it was super enjoyable. They were so well prepared to play it. So, I'm hoping the NIP and Navi both have something uh, of a similar caliber to show us, because it was really entertaining. Rez goes down, and that's after Flamey nearly getting killed there in the window. But it's a really, really important kill. And taking down Rez, uh, surely... Oh, he actually got caught jumping and still won the fight. I was going to say, Rez, I think, is such a resource for an IP. Whenever you, when you drop him in a round, you've really done a lot. These are tilt-worthy rounds as well. Or tilt-worthy kills. That yeah. one on Rez it took forever for Simple to get, and he just squeaks it. Yeah. And then, yeah, as you pointed out, Electronic gets that kill after jumping. So that's not really great for an IP. Those players aren't going to be too pleased with that. But Hampus, so oh, not quite going to make it in time. Unfortunately for him, Flamey was checking. And Perfecto going to spot the push coming in here through B Apartments. Nice little nade there on knock. And they are just getting smashed in IP. Back to back, flawless round. Simple showing up and actually saving uh, his teammate there, I think. Yeah, that's... I mean, they've only got one kill on Hampus so far. And we're beginning in the fourth round. So... A bumpy start for NIP. It's way too soon to say if this will mean anything down the road, but, you know. It is what it is. Not every day that you see it this, this one-sided. A single kill after three rounds. It's true. Oof. Usually there's, you know, s some more to be said. Obviously, that is going to also be mirrored then in Navi's money, which will be looking really good early on. We've got all deagles. I don't know if it's going to, you know get them a win in this round, but I love the idea. I, just, I mean, they're hoping for those one digs, right? But uh, so far, I mean, for Navi, I mean, it's like Navi are just, or Navi, Nip wants to play the game on hard mode. They're like, you know what, we need to just make this as difficult as possible on us. And maybe that's that, you know, they just play better under pressure. So Let's try and see if they can, do, do, <laughs> can make it real tricky. I don't know. I think if, if Threat caught them thinking like that, it would uh, be a serious conversation. Simple goes down. Rez with a nice, clean shot. And I mean, you don't have to you don't have to miss uh, a lot of shots here if you're Navi to give up a round like this. Not that much has to go wrong against Eagles. We've seen it many, many times in the past. So deep breath if you're a Navi. Start thinking about. How do you make sure you don't just, you know, go down one at a time? Mm -hmm. Can you get can you get refrags? Can you retake bomb sites instead? I mean, you don't always have to just, you know, stand your ground and, and fight forever. 
So, 35 seconds, and that's kind of the big problem over this way. Ooh, and that's a big problem. Rez, he was the only one coming in from the middle. The rest are coming up from the hallway, and it would have been nice to have someone sneaking in behind. Nice shot from Hampus Perfecto, maybe messing that up a little bit. And again, Flamey just needs to buy time. His teammates are coming. It's not worth going down and getting it into a two-on-two. -two. Electronic with a good return, and long range here for Twist. And he's running out of time. They're out in the open, but it doesn't matter. Electronic will shut the round down. But that was very expensive for Navi. Yeah, getting on the board in a big way there in IP finally. Doing some damage. It's going to force Navi to tap into that monster bank that they developed over the first three rounds of this half. And uh, just nice shots coming in from Nock with that dig. Okay, then. Yeah. Well, let's see. This is it. Big buy round for both of these teams. Simple elects not to go for an AWP. Interesting. Yeah, I again, I think we talked about it's just that there are so many all players that don't like playing CT side or even like on any, like we'll do it on every other map, but not on Mirage. Tronic moving forward, hiding inside of the smoke. That's a uh, people very often check this with a couple of shots, but I guess they weren't this time. Huge kill coming in. Electronic finding a double that is absolutely worth it. Two for one trade, and NIP probably again feeling. Just a bit, uh, a bit jaded about that. Not happy. Yeah, that's. I can see Twist. Twist uh, tends to show a lot of emotion as well. So I bet his cam, uh, his face must have been pretty agitated there when he was getting shot down. Wrinkling a lot. Yeah, he tends to, he tends to to, to get a bit annoyed. And he's, uh, yeah, he's working on a sacred agent right now. So is Plopsky. So uh, not the best start at all for NIP in this half. So it's like it's going to be B-Site once again. And we'll see. Can Nock create an opening here for his team? He might lead the way with that AWP and try and find a pick. If you're holding, I mean, Perfecto could be at risk of getting popped here. Look at Flamey, though. He's boosted yeah. up, and it's so hard to check. You almost have to just free fire that if you're going to be doing it. They were checking for it, and Plopsky will be swift with the return to take down Flamey. But still, that means everyone's going to be rotating in shortly. 35 seconds. Perfecto's just standing his ground and listening. Very patient, and that will reward him with a double kill. Smart play. And much better, again, buying time for the rest of the team to show up. There it is. As if Navi didn't have enough money. We'll save the op too. Go ahead. Nine, one, and one on both simple and electronic. That is... That's terrifying to begin a match with. Um, but if you're a Navi fan, and we saw there was a whole army of them on the fan cam earlier, you're loving it. I'm very... Oh, man. Well, it's interesting that everybody turns around and listens. They take their headsets off, and they're all in the same room. They just turn around and listen to the threat when he's talking to the coach for NIP. And he's, uh, he looks like he's got quite a bit to say about that sort of situation. I mean, you've given up five rounds now for Navi. The bank is still excellent for Navi. These yeah. guys are just fragging. you got two guys sitting at nine kills already, electronic and simple. If both electronic and simple are feeling it today, Anders, on this map, life is going to get real hard for NIP. This is not going to be fun. I agree. There, I, I mean, there aren't many teams in the world who are going to have an easy time playing against those two when they're both playing well. And, you know, that's the dream of Na'Vi, isn't it? That they consistently can show up, and then all you need is, like, you, you just need the other three players to, to do their roles. You don't need them to do outperform anything. Just just show up and, and, and do what you can, and that'll probably be enough. So the Eagles are back in style and in fashion here. Simple we'll get a headshot on Twist with the orb. Slide overkill. I guess. Yeah. I'm surprised at Boomich not being able to uh, lock down that kill on Hampus. This is going to get real fun for Perfecto in a moment. Flamey is rotating over, though, and he should be here in time to help his teammate out. And the smoke goes down. Rez is going to be able to sneak his way past. He gets spotted, though, and Flamey with the clean tap takes his head off, and there's Perfecto chiming in as well. So NIP, they're committing to this B site. Bomb is here, and it's here to stay. Yeah, Hampus is going to get spotted on short, and that is very clean indeed here for Navi. Flawless round once again. Six rounds in a row for Navi. And Nip still sporting the goose egg. They are, yeah. Collectively, they have six kills across the all five players. So that is beginning to be a problem because... You know, you can have you can have some pretty elaborate and deep strategies on the rest of it, but eventually, at the end of all those strategies, you, you know, you've got to actually shoot somebody. Has to be done. Usually the way, yeah. The timing doesn't quite line up though for Simple, unfortunately. Nock, however, hoping for some aggression from Navi as Navi fight to control mid. They were going for a little bit of fun up there, but now they've decided to back off. That's Plopsky. 
Taking a bit of shrapnel damage up in uh, the B apartments. And he does barely make it around the corner. But again, he's close enough to hear Perfecto making these noises. Perfecto curious to see, you know, decides to back off. He's not going to try and keep pushing. A passive way of holding middle right now that Simples is saying it doesn't, it's not the whole Navi team and he's not fully committed, but I like this because again, we've seen from NIP in the, in the other maps, if they get the sort of room to execute strategies, they're really good at that. And if they could just, you know, like this, prevent Rez from being close, Rez would love to get into Xander where Simple is because then NIP will probably have a whole long list of strategies they can run from that position, but when he doesn't get there, and they're going to be running out of uh, ideas at some point. Hampus jumping down and nearly oh, getting caught. Boom, I'm shocked that he didn't get that kill there. They're going to go for the B-bomb side once again. 35 seconds. Perfecto already getting tagged and surely calling it back up as soon as he can. Right up there, the rest of them. Oh, this is going to get fun real fast. Oh, Perfecto still hits the headshot. Outrageous. He takes another one. Electronic, and it's all on knock. Not for long. Simple Joy is in the party. Just like that. Dude, Perfecto... You got to give it to the guy. Absolutely. You're playing B on Mirage. It's not great. It's, it's going to be tough to find kills, but given the opportunity, he's not missing right now. He is connecting bullets with heads. 7-0, and I almost thought, given the graphic there, I almost thought that we were going to get another timeout called by uh, NIP at this point because this is just getting, um, it's getting a bit out of hand, Anders. You got guys who are really struggling to find kills. Twist has set himself up as a secret agent, but, I mean, Plofsky and Knocker are only sitting on one frag each. In the meantime, uh, yeah. Simple and Electronic are just having a ball over there on Navi's side. Really a lack of output right now, and it, it just has to change right now. I mean, they, they need to get get everyone back on board. It'd be amazing if someone could pick up, pick up a triple or a quad kill here. Just, you know, that sometimes will get the team fired up, but they're getting shut down a little bit, taking still a lot of damage. Simple will show up with the AWP to drop Blobsky before he can pick up any rifles there, and oh my god, that's so quick! He just jumped to check and then went for it. Twist has got to be wondering, how? How does that work? He did get two kills himself, Twist, so more power to him, but 8-0 and oh in favor of Navi. I want to see that replay from Twist's perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got a replay there. I, I want to see that from Twist, because what did that look like from his perspective? Because we saw it from Simple. We saw how fast he is. But if you get taken out by that, ooh. Yeah, we're going to get it from Simple's perspective. So, a quick little jump. And he's like, all right. Ah, okay, it's just a wide swing, but still. It is. He's so brutal. 8-0. Navi on the CT side of Mirage. And once again, a little bit of pressure here at top mid, just with the nades, Navi. Letting Nip know that if they try and get clever over here, they will get punished. And in the meantime, oh, that's Boomish pushing ramp. He had Electronic backing him up oh. as well. Twist wins out, and he is on the board. First kill of the game here for him. I think Boomich backed out. No, he got through the last round as well. He's oh, he did. Well, he's he's rocking now. Fair enough. <laughs> he's got it. Don't don't want to sell it for him. Got to be careful. But I uh, I think Boomich actually backed up into that grenade. Um, so so there is that. But um, they've got mid control. Blamey's holding over the M4. It's hard to win a fight against uh, many people coming around the corner. But they're going to be walking right through a single flashbang. No one checked the corner. Then it's definitely easy. He's going to win that fight. Hampus will take him down. And not ready. Perfecto jumping around the corner. That is dangerous. Two on one now. Simple with the Deagle. And he's expecting it. He's only taking out the orb. He's just aiming for the Deagle. Oh, my God. The leading knock from that room. And now it's against Twist. And Twist has got to be worried here. Simple is in this mode. He's 16 and 1, just running with the deal out. He's going to actually try and maybe swap out for the AK instead. That might have been a reasonable choice. Uh, Throws in the flashbang, and he's checking for Twist. He's right there, and he'll win it against Simple. Huge double kill and a huge clutch coming in there for Twist. First round for NIP. They're on the board, Anders. They're on the board. We're going to get the replay here of Twist with his HE. Oh, yeah. Right on, Boomage. And he wasn't backing up, Anders. He stepped back into it. Yeah, he was like, you know Went what? Went for the re-peak and got punished. Maybe he thought it was dodgeball or something. Like, if I catch it, I can throw it back. It's hot potato. Yeah. Got burned. Oh, man, what a round from Simple, though. That's still, if that's what it takes for Nip to get, you know, they need to do, uh, do a little bit more here. They can't be counting on 1v1 clutches to go their way every time uh, to get rounds on this T side. They need something, uh, they need to land on something that actually works a little bit more consistently than that. But once again, they have control of mid. 
NIP sandwich to catch anybody who was trying to get clever. <laughs> Ray is just, you know, one slight strafe away from death. Holding steady at the moment, though. It's so close, so close. He really is almost walking into it. They absolutely must win this round in IP. I mean, obviously with the economy now, the round lost opponents didn't go back to zero and all that. But still, you've got to be really, really worried about all of this. 50 seconds, simple setting up, smoke is there. Oh, he doesn't fire the gun, otherwise he maybe he'd have to kill. Rez going down, and now simple, gonna get executed right afterwards. Electronic with a good double spray. And now it's a 2-1-3, 40 seconds left. Nork, gonna go for it, he misses the chance, and gets punished. And Twist will fall next, Perfecto showing up. Huge stuff there, 9-1. to one. Turns out it's still accurate, even after that round. Simple alone has more, t more kills than that. And then you factor in electronic. That's the thing. Right now, Nip have or Navi have got that one-two combination punch that is just brutal. Because not only do you have Simple who's popping off, and then Electronic is right up there neck and neck with them. It's not that Boomich is missing shots. It's just that there are no people left to kill. Yeah, nobody's inclined to share right now out of those two. And now again, it just puts Nip and right back into the grinder. They have to hold on, trying to make a play with Hampus on that AW on that AK rather. But uh, he gets picked. At least Propsky is able to recover it. Really cool to see. Really hard on, on NIP. Again, I, I guess they have been having a hard time getting mid, at least without casualties. Oh, nice shot. Twist getting rid of Boomich this time. There were kills to be had, but Twist just wouldn't let him have any. Still should be fine. I'm trying to think if NIP are going for the same sort of strategy that we clearly saw on Overpass and, and maybe even on Nuke to some extent where, you know, you get you get the staging area. On this map, though, it's it's just so different because there isn't much of a... The staging area for B is up at the B hallway, so you can throw grenades over, but you signal that so clearly when you're doing it. Like, it's, it's never going to be a surprise, and it's, it's just... And you're still running for huge choke points, so, so that whole thing th feels very different from, let's say, Overpass, where it's all open. Let's see, Plopsky's waiting here. This could be interesting, actually, if they line up for him. Even on low health, could be done. Gonna get that one. Flamey on the other side would probably be better off with a pistol as opposed to the AWP, but he'll get the job done. And it's a one on two here. Nork, no armor, just a deagle, no grenades or anything. Actually, we'll do some fair damage to him right there. Simple sneaking up behind. Oh, nearly caught. He's trying to swap it out for the M4. Simple will come in from the side and take him down. But... My point just is, most of the time, you, you can go for the classic A, you know, type execute, but a lot of the time you still want middle, either whether you're going A or B, right? You want middle to be a part of that strategy, and I just nip on not having any time getting that. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't that convenient? We're going to get a technical timeout for Navi right now. 10 and 1. A bit of a beating right now that Navi are administering to the ninjas. And, well, they're going to go ahead and let the ninjas uh, just uh, soak it in. So hard to make a comeback happen at this point in time. And now V... They, I actually don't think they, were, they weren't playing badly, really, on, on Overpass. But I thought at the end of it, I started to get that sense that there was some lacking focus and then things were sort of spiraling out of control. Mm -hmm. Certainly made up for it on Nuke. Certainly continued into this map. Again, that's... That's what you want out of Navi. You just want you want to see this repeated across multiple matches, right? And we're going to see them uh, in the next match if they win this one. So we've got a chance to see if it's going to continue in that sense. Well, Rez is back in. Ping stabilizing, looking good. And what about Navi? Well, right now it's Navi who called for the tech. Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, yeah. it's like they're ready as well. So let's get it on. We're back in the action. 10 to 1. What a absolute slaughter, isn't it? Oh, this has been something else, Sanders. I, th I mean, there are still so many tricks that Navi haven't even done defensively. You saw the one round where Boomich was pushing up on that A ramp. Mm -hmm. That was a n That's a nice idea to throw them off. But there's A apartments, there's double pushes into B apartments. You can try and rush the middle to put pressure on. There's so many things that Navi haven't really tried. Simple just being aggressive with the AWP and smoke. Oh no, he's still burning. He's actually having to move forward from that Molotov. Misses the chance, and he's surely dead. 
He's actually getting out alive. This can't happen. Unreal. And if he takes a pot, yep, gets that shot in Palace. Oh, they cannot make it happen here. This is unreal for NIP. Down two men. It's still four on three. They did manage to get a parting shot on Flamey. But this is just getting out of hand. Plopsky gets picked off by Perfecto on B. Boomage gonna catch knockout in the open and it's all on Rez. At least he's going up short, but he has been spotted. Electronic gonna get the peek on him and Rez still in this fight. Can't, gotta be careful. That's a nice clean headshot. Cannot give it to him for free. Perfecto hanging out, waiting for his teammates to rotate over. And I do like this from Perfecto. Yep. Uh, time favors you. Sure, Rez is uh, hoping for a series of 1v1 duels. That's what it's uh, the name of the game here for him. But, uh, Man. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought he had a headshot there. Perfecto. Maybe. It... He clipped through the wall? Yeah, must have. Whoa. Exciting stuff. Uh, I actually thought that was, that, was not a, that was not a dumb idea at all by Plopsky. He, like, he knew they were behind. And he thought, Perfecto's probably going to be alone. And, he, and Perfecto just put up a smoke. If I just jump out and if I win that fight, then we can win the round. So I think that was that was good just initiative from him. But didn't win the fight, so none of it really matters. 11 to 1, 13th round. And again, this is kind of hard to even believe. It is a bit out of hand. Kind of trying to put it together here. Wondering what threat is uh, going on about. I mean, you just need to show no fear and get in there. At this point. It's been, that last round, for example, was just a series of duels that just did not go Nip's way. Oh, and we are going to get it. They can chain timeouts together. Yes. And so back-to-back -back timeouts called here by, Nob, uh, by Nip. I feel like Threat's strength probably isn't going to be in doing like hype motivational speeches, and I don't think really Swedish players are going to respond too well to the, that kind of talk anyway. Yeah, it's not really the Friday Night Lights kind of Yeah, kind of... not really in the culture is it in the same way, but I imagine his emphasis is going to be on, on a, whatever it is they've got planned for this map in general, right? Like you, Once you have put in the hours, and I'm sure they have many, many hours, you know, practicing all the different things on this map, you've got to trust in that, right? If you if you break away from that game plan now and be like, oh well, let's try something completely new, like that's that's not going to build any kind of a confidence either. So I expect they're going to try something similar. If having again that that mid portion of the map, they haven't had many straight A executes. Where again, smokes just going for that, setting up right now for something that does feel more like an A split, which again will definitely require middle somehow be in their control or at least. Not losing too many players as they're just setting up there. Oh, oh, this dance. You almost don't want to look away. I know, I know, Prius. But it's going to be electronic finding a kill on knock, and now it's going to happen. There it is. Boomich takes down Twist, and just like that, Nip after two timeouts, getting the game plan together, getting their heads straight. Navi, go ahead and turn those heads 180. I mean, if Nork could have escaped through the. Through the murder hole in there, going back back to the back of the, the Navi lineup, that would have been really something. But what do you do now? Boom is pushed up, so if you try and take the A bomb site, I I don't know how you're going to do that with him being up there. And Perfecto is just looking down that long line into the B hallway, so he's going to know far in advance if anyone's going to be showing up. Really suggestive smoke. Yeah, Hamper's gonna have to win this fight. That's gotta be the first uh, first line of it. He's so low on health already. That is not gonna happen. So now they can't really. They, yeah, they might as well run. I don't know. He, he's gonna take the bomb down onto the ramp. I don't see that happening at all. Man, they're getting so red at the moment. It's just one after another, isn't it? And simple. Just have it. I thought he hit. He liked him. He did. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. There's no stopping him when he's doing this. That just isn't. It's it's interesting to watch. That's Dude, really 21, bad. 2, and 4. Yeah, in 13 rounds. And Electronic's sitting there, you know, 18, 4, and 5 as well. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's man, you got your, even your, I mean, Twist is at 6 frags. That's as high as it goes on Nip's side. That's, this is a brutal beatdown. As brutal as we've seen in a very long time. I don't remember seeing a one-sided match like this in a good long while. No, I completely agree. And I'm sure NIP, NIP must have been thinking, 
yeah, you know, Simple's still obviously, you know, probably still the best player in the world, but, but you know, we have to... But he isn't taking over whole games the way that, it, you know, like, it feels like the overall level has also improved, you know, throughout the years of Simple playing. Um, so, so they were probably thinking, maybe it's in the past that we have to deal with this kind of a thing. And it's not. It turns out not. <laughs> it's right now. <laughs> it just goes to show how ungodly good he is. Yeah. I, you know... It's really, really hard to oversell Simple as a, as a Counter-Strike player and, and what he is. Boomage, pretty good. Nice little follow-up there. And trying to get Flamey going down in the meantime. AK being picked up there on Hampus, so maybe they had one already. Trying to do some damage. Still a minute left. Boomage sees it coming and will take down Ress. And now it's Boomage really adding to it. Nice quad kill on him. Been a really quiet game for him. That was his seventh kill right there. So, um, really good. But 15th round is coming up. 13 to 1. NIP, they don't Dude, look like they have much left in the Tanners, that's the crazy thing, too. It's just, they're, these are all kills. There's been one defuse round. Yeah. It's just, they're not getting the bomb planted at all. It's just, Nip aren't even in the server right now. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's actually unheard of. I mean, they've had one defuse round out of 14 rounds played. It is, it's, it's all the things we don't like to hear. Flamey setting up here with an Orc. Gonna be a grenade coming his way. Hampus is ready in case there's a peek. Oh, he's gonna make the jump. I definitely saw that. But fairly safe. They have middle. They even have connector right here. Plomsky just shoulder peeking that. And simple, he's everywhere. He's been in the A-bomb side in the middle for a while. Now he's over to be hallways. Bomb is far back and try and win this A-bomb site. That's a nice kill from Nork. Super important. Now they have the bomb site. They don't have the bomb though. That's gonna take a while before it gets there. Rez. Still a valuable position, even though he did not get that kill. Drop down, they heard it. Still flamey, getting clever with the AUG, and that's just simple. Simple was like, ah, fine, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get after this. Does get caught though, finally. And so it's on Perfecto now, 1v3, can he clutch it out and truly break the ninja's back? There's the on. He can't possibly expect all of them to be CT though. That's just a bit of a tall order. The problem is he does have a smoke. Oh, he's gonna set it up that way instead. It would have been okay. fun if he could have tried to put it on the bomb. Still, low chance of actually getting the defuse, but um, could have put a lot of pressure on them. Yeah, he's checking everything. And again, as you said, it's hard for him to guess that they would be in CT spawn that whole time. And Hampus will take him down 13 to two in favor of Na'Vi with a scoreline of 23 and five on simple at the end of the half. I don't think there's much left for NIP, but if there is, it's gonna have to be in the second half after the break and we'll be right back.
We have returned into the final half of this best of three between Navi and NIP here at Blast Premier. And it has been a ridiculous and grotesque performance by Navi in the first half. They're up 13 to 2, and NIP, I cannot even imagine what kind of strength they would have to summon to get back into this semblance. It's Herculean. Something like that. Comes to mind. Something of that order. It's possible. There's going to have to be a lot of lifting done here to, uh, to make this work. Yeah, today is definitely a leg day for Nip. Uh, they have got a lot of work ahead of them here. Simple on that P250. Never good news. Uh, does he do it again? He was so lethal with it yesterday. He was actually deleting people from the server when he had it. He's trying right there. Couple of shots ring out. Not connecting just yet. Tronic, who's also been doing well, trying his best. And Flamey will be able to get the refrag at the very least. Alone over at the A bomb side, I think his hampers hanging out. He's getting maybe a little bit of backup, but it's dangerous. They're actually all around him. If Hampus dies, there's not many people left that can actually stop uh, the bomb, at least, from going down. Oh, nice shot from Hampus. Getting simple. We'll go into Flamey next, but um, did the first part of the job just fine. Three on three. And Na'Vi still not close to a bomb plant here. And now Flamey's uh, going boss mode as well. He's got P250 Kevlar, so he's definitely going to be the one to... Uh, have a little bit of trouble to deal with here. Perfecto has been spotted, but that's all right. And so the all three players for Nip pretty much set up to come through CT. Bomb is going to get planted. Flamey knows that his teammates got his back. Nice nade right on top of it. So clean. And Plofsky is going to go ahead and charge. Man advantage now for Nip going into the retake. Excellent stuff. And Plofsky, he was sneaking out even as that bomb was being planted. It was very proactive. Smoke up on top of the bomb, making this very hard on uh, Boomich. And he will go down. Plumsky with a nice triple kill. This was the f certainly the first thing that had to work out for NIP. This is... Oh, man. Could this have... Because it's such a long break between halves. Could this be where Nip just kind of YOLO? Throw it into overdrive. You know what I mean? Because now they don't care, right? No pressure. You're so far behind. It's almost a joke. We can see them cracking up a bit during the halftime, right? So you're, you're so far behind. Is there any pressure on you, or are you just going to be loosey-goosey every round just playing your game? Oh, maybe. I, don't, I, think, I think in the short term, if you adopt that attitude, it, you know, you can win some games behind it. Sure. I think long term, if you, you, you should probably try and say, you know, it's really never over. Like, we, you know, we can win these games. Don't, like, don't give up. Because um, I, I just think that builds a stronger team over, over a long period of time, you know? Because uh, the problem with the other attitude is, like, you know, it, it, it becomes a slippery slope. Like, when do you start to feel like it's not worth it? We can just, you know, oh, it's up or whatever. Like, you know, let's just YOLO it. Sure. Um, is, it at, is it at, you know, 13-2? Or does it also work at 11-4? And, like, you know, it's, I, I just I would try and ban that from, from my teams if I was doing the, the leadership in that sense and try and say, you know what, like, I know it sucks to keep trying even at 13-2. It does. It really feels more painful, you know? But for a professional organization, we're not going to... Not just going to fold. Uh, you can never give up and never surrender. That's got to be the mindset. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, but I, th I understand why the other why the other sort of avenue is tempting because um, it, it does feel less painful for obvious reasons. Simple has the only AK and the only armor, and he's managed to sneak himself in really deep here. This is a powerful, dangerous position to be in. Oh, but he's going to get shot in the back from Rez. So danger has been averted at least from the AK-47, and it looks like they'll be able to negotiate this round just fine on the NIP side. Well, it AK. doesn't get much better than this, does it, for Rez? Four kills with an MP9, max money. All right, then. You can see how gross it is. He's going to... Yeah, he did get obliterated there. Knocked out in the end. But yes, it was good. They steal the AK and I don't know what Navi if they wanna wanna go for a buy on some of the players. Except, yeah, good. Keep up the pressure. I mean they have such a huge buffer that even a even a slightly uh slightly worse buy here, you can maybe still justify it. There just comes a point, obviously, where Navi also have to say, yes, but if they win too many rounds in a row, we now have to be the ones to, to, to start to respect them again. Ooh, double push. Mm. This is great. Yeah, I like the aggression. Why not? This is, uh, this is a round where Navi might be trying to run something. See, Perfecto isn't even looking to be apartments. And Never that happens mind. so rare. I mean, it's such a rare push. So when it does come through, I mean, yeah, you're just, you're expecting underpass.
Especially with no presence in mid from your team. And now the flash comes in. There's knock with the shot. Ooh, headshot on Flamey. And they are just getting picked off one after another. Although Simple has got something to say about it, he is not able to connect on the second kill. That would have been truly monstrous. Instead, it's Hampus removing him from the board. Electronic is uh, going to get one. Takes down Flopsky with a minute left on the clock here. There's still some time to maneuver for Navi. Funnily enough, they are not done yet. If, no, with this much time, Boomich can get into position, but they're going to go into it. They're backing up. No, not even checking. Twist going down. Now, surely, there's going to be some panic in the communication of NIP. How did he get there, and what's going on, and you know where do we position ourselves now? Jumping into the window is not the right move. That's shocking. They must have called that out. Now, in the lead, or in the favor of Na'Vi here. I don't want to be throwing this one away, Boomich. Just wait and get the bomb down. I don't think they know where Rez is any longer. He's got one kill, but that was so long ago that I'm sure that uh, information has decayed completely at this point in time. 20 seconds. Let's see what they do. A little jump pass. Now they know, and now they're going to get the bomb part. No problem. Rez charging forward the Molotov to try and slow him down. He actually taking a fair bit of damage. Oh, straight headshot, but the Molotov. Oh, no! It can't get worse, can it? It just trickles up. It just the flames. They and just catch him. The man was dead anyway. There was an HE came in after the cut to guarantee it. Oh, man. I think that was that sick. Was. That was sick. But yeah, that molly. Let's see it. Was I lying? I think I'm pretty sure an HE was coming in, right? Did I not see an HE go off there? Weird. All right. Maybe my eyes were deceiving me. It would have been hard with 20 health anyway, regardless of anything else. 14 to 4. And NIP strong side of that last round. Was looking good. Shutting down simple. Containing that push. And then it boom and sneaking in from the B-bomb side. And what looked like a Shorvin just explodes in their hands. 19th round now. Ah, oh, man. How do, you, how do you as a team rationalize that? Uh, how do you say, yeah, it's fine. Well done. Well played. <laughs> GG. Uh, that's kind of uh, what's going through your mind at that point, I think. Because if you lose this round, you've got nothing left. Uh, considering Truly your nothing. Things, yeah, you just got the single round, so it's it's gonna be very very difficult. A uh, little bit of a peek, and Nock gets picked by Flamey to kick things off. Admirable attempt by Nock to try and make a play. Got to do something. Yes. Yeah, you really do have to keep keep trying, even with worse equipment and all the rest of it. Hampus, ooh, that was heads up. All right. Taking down Flamey, he just didn't really show him anything there. They're showing up with the bomb, and they only have 25 seconds. That's really not that much time for Navi to make some sort of a play here. Hampus hiding in shadow. He's low on health, and it's paper thin the wall around him, so any shot will probably bring him down. Another headshot, though, and he actually tags up Boomish as well. He's crawled up, but they're all focused on here. Now the teammates are showing up. Ten seconds. I think they've got this round. Perfecto's going to get a kill, but that bomb plant. Oh, it's going through the last possible second, and Rez again alone. Oh, no. I can't believe they made it through. They were running out of time. Boosted as well. Oh, man. Style points in the end for Simple. Just boosted up one step ahead. No. Match point, Anders. 11 of them. That was looking so solid for NIP. 11 match yeah. points. <laughs> That's right. You can just see one eye in the corner there from Threat. He's just done. What can you do? Mentally boomed. What can you do? Yeah, 11 match points. Yeah, it would make for a good headline if NIP came back in overtime. That would be one of the most epic um, comebacks of all time, I think, in CS. Yeah, they've got they've got that certainly set up for them, right? Hard to win eleven straight rounds with you with no mistakes, and also no money at the moment. So, Navi, this is uh, this is the kind of power that we you know, we want to see. Are they playing OG next? I think so. That could get interesting. OG are just chilling out, waiting, saying. Dear God, please, simple, be out of gas. Right? I mean, that is the thing. The, the, but the team that wins this will have an hour's break. True. So when this map ends, it will be an hour until the next best of three. So there will be time to get to dinner, for example, if you're on Navi, right? You'll like, have a little bit of time to get there. It's time for simple to deathmatch, we mean. Yeah, exactly. Play FPL. Yeah. 
guys. Unstoppable. Yeah, just get a pug in there real quick. Flaming electronic, and it is just moving forward. Res with you. Oh my god, how is that possible? He just spun all over the place and got nothing but headshots with the Deagle. Quad kill on him right now. Do it. Res, if for nobody else and just for yourself. Flamey walks into it and it's so close. A little bit of a jump. He spots out Hampus. Man, that was beautiful from Res. A lot of credit to put that together at the end, but he was just a bullet or a headshot short from an ace there. That would have been very cool. Instead, it's going to be Flamey to close it all out at 16 to 4. They managed to take down NIP. Took three maps, but this last one was amazing for Navi. Man. You can only wonder as well what happened. Look at how, look at Threat's body language there. He is not happy right now. He yeah. is not happy. So, again, just a reminder we have an hour break and then we'll be back with our second best of three. The championship sure. of this group will be played out between Navi and OG. But now it's time, Anders, to hand it over to the desk and hear what our magnificent analysts have to say about their uh, incorrect predictions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't make an incorrect prediction there. Don't worry, Semmel. I'm still holding the fort. But one thing I'll say, I ended that on the previous map, right, saying that we saw Flamey get to his nearly final form. He made it to a Charizard. I didn't quite get to his mega evolution, the next step forward. But Electronic, <laughs> he went from a Pikachu to a Raichu. Someone gave him a Thunderstone, and he came alive. And that's the play I want to start with here, because that's the difference maker. We said Mirage could be like a bit of an FPL game when it comes into it. Well, that's exactly what it started to look like. Yeah, it was. And and if you have just tuned in for that game and you just watched that map, you're thinking to yourself, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Navi is looking perfect. <laughs> this was the yeah. most scary version of Navi we've ever had in this event so far, because it's not only simple. Yes, as you can see on your screen right here, he's at 26 kills, he's up there, but Electronic is right behind him. That is the scary drone you want to see, but everyone else did what they had to do, even Flaming 19 kills. Perfecto, we're going to talk